Okay, this is a follow-up video to the video I just posted about the hive that almost swarmed. And what I did to this hive was I saw a big fat swarm cell, lots of other swarm cells on another frame. I took the swarm cell frame and the, the swarm cells that were on the bottom of another frame, put them into a nuke, left the queen here with the rest of the hive. And I figured the nuke would make a new queen from that queen cell, which was well on its way, and that would be a new hive, and this hive would just kind of keep going along, tra-la-la. A lot of people commenting saying that that was backwards and I should have put the queen in the nuke and left the queen cell to just happen here and form a new hive. So I don't know if I did it backwards. I, I followed my gut. This has happened before. Balboa formed a queen cell before. I moved it to a, nu a nuke. It just turned into another hive. Balboa, once she got some empty frames and the brood nest expanded, uh, she just kept laying no problem. This is a Balboa queen. I just did what sort of my instinct told me to do. So I think I did okay. I don't know though. And I have doubts now that you guys have commented on the video that I just posted. So let's open this up. This is a total mystery. Let's find out what happened. All right, so what I think we're gonna find is the queen will be in here. They will be drawing out those frames that I left for them. They'll be putting new nectar in the super, which were empty. They'll be drawing these out and they'll be putting nectar in here. And I think we're gonna see a queen in here. This is what I'm thinking. Worst case scenario is they, they will have swarmed away and uh, I can just take the nuke that I made and bring it over here and just combine them again. And there'll still be a hive. We didn't lose the hive. Yeah. With that population, I don't think they swarmed, folks. But the thing is, let's see if, did they make a new swarm cell? Are they that inspired to swarm that they're gonna make a new cell? And in the spirit of Vino Farm videos, you know, if I screwed up, you get to see it. That is a very full super. And if you remember, I put the empty super in between to create the feeling of uh, a more open brood nest and more open hive. So down to the brood nest. There's not anything in here. This is still pretty light, but they're working on the frames. So after I took the two other frames away that had swarm cells on them, I left them with empty frames. Adrian was on this frame when I left them. And this was, this was a frame that uh, had a little space to lay. So we'll see what she did with that. Okay, that is all bee bread and Nectar, wall-to-wall -wall brood. All right, we do have a couple of cups at the bottom and one has got uh, some royal jelly in there. So, this was a completely empty frame four days ago. Run that out. They got right to work on that. Okay, there's our queen right there. There's Adrian. Couple of cups on the bottom there. I'm just gonna knock those right off while I'm here. I need to do the other one too, but looks like they are still in the mood to swarm. This is the other frame I put in four days ago. Drawing it right out. So they're making queen cells on this frame. So yeah, this hive, this hive wants to swarm. There's another, another cup. All right, we got new queen cups being made. They are resetting to swarm here. We're trying to start the process all over. So now what? Do I take the queen out and put her into a nuke? Just pull her away with a couple frames and uh, let the bees make their queen here. Let them do what they're gonna do. All right, the problem with taking the queen out of the hive though is that if she stopped laying eggs, there's not gonna be suitable eggs in here to make a new queen. So that is a problem. Okay, Adrian's on this frame. Question is, is she laying eggs? That's another thing several people commented on was that uh, they would be getting her to stop laying eggs if they're trying to get her swarm. OK, 
Okay, so the deal is that this frame that the queen is on does have eggs on it. So there are eggs in here, and they're actually making some cells on this, on this frame. So if I take the queen and a couple of other frames and put them into a nuke, the bees will think that the queen swarmed away. And they will make, they will be queenless, and they will make a queen from what they have in the hive. So that's probably my next step. So this is the nuke that I actually split the other queen cells into. So it's this, it, this half over here is Adrian queen cell, and this is going to be Adrian actual queen. Okay, I want to leave a drawn frame in here for her to lay into for sure. All right, I'm taking one of the frames that they started to draw out. And I wanna just kinda of squish those queen cups that they're making. There's nothing on here yet. Like there's no eggs or anything. But I'm just gonna mess up these queen cups. So they're gonna go in. I'm giving them a frame of resources and uh, pollen and some nectar. Our queen is here. I'm going to put her onto that other frame. But I want to put this frame back in the hive because this is the egg frame that they're going to hopefully build a new uh, queen from. Okay, she's in there. She's in there, she's with her bees. I'm gonna shake some bees into this hive. Shake some more bees into the hive. Okay, this is an empty frame for her to start laying into. So Adrian's in here with a frame of capped brood, an empty frame that is being drawn out, an empty frame that is drawn out, and then a completely empty frame. And uh, I wonder if I should close up the hive so they don't all fly away. I do want to feed them. I just want to get them in the box. You have a queen, you just, you guys just swarmed. You just pretend swarmed. And now over here, this hive is queenless. They have a big frame of eggs. They have several queen cells already started. Um, they've got a ton of resources. They're a very complete hive in here, except they do not have a queen. So they need to make a queen and then they will be a brand new hive. Putting the full super back down on the bottom so they stay together. The resources and the mass of the hive here. There's still a lot of brood in here that's gonna hatch out, so I'm just gonna leave them like this. They're good. They just need to make a queen. All right, so commenters once again come through. You were correct. They were still gonna try and swarm. So that was the story. Uh, the thing is, I got up here and I realized once I was here, I had no idea what exactly to do to move the queen over. And my thought was to move her over with just a bunch of bees and empty frames because that's what would happen if they swarmed. They would have to build a whole new colony. But then I thought, well, why not just give them some resources and put some brood in there so that they would be more apt to hang out and take care of the brood. So that's, that's my thinking. Please tell me in the comments what I did wrong, because I love reading about all the things I do wrong. So the other thing is that Queen now could uh, go find her way back to her hive. She could swarm again. She could just abscond. They could just say, nope, we're out of here and take off and leave the brood behind. Uh, I don't know. So, <laughs> so either way, from the Queen Adrian original hive, we have a colony that has uh, suitable eggs to make a queen, plus a bunch of cells that are still in there, tons of resources, and a just big booming hive. 
uh, we have a nuke with a big queen cell that's well on their way to, to capping and, and emerging pretty soon. So that's going to be a colony. So we already have two colonies that will be made out of this, this hive. If Adrian stays around in that nuke and starts building up in the nuke and we put her into a regular box, then we will have had three colonies from, from the one original colony. So uh, that's, that's where we are. So worst case scenario, we have two colonies out of one colony. And that's all I really wanted to begin with. But the, uh, the bad thing would be if she does fly away, then we lose Queen Adrian. And we just got to know her. So anyway, that's the latest. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment and tell me what I did wrong.